feeds it deep. Shots that make girls in the front row giggle. Timo playing it back to the short side, inside out. So if you think back to what it was that got Timo Bull winning five points in a row from down 10-2 in the last game, the calm, the misdirection from early in the point. Three, two. Looks pretty calm here, nice change of pace. At the same time, when Dima gets into the looping action, if Timo falls into a blocking position too much, unless he really throws the rhythm of Dima and changes up the depth on the table, it's going to be tough. Surprise, surprise, short side, parallel from way behind the table. Jenny Ovtrov there with the pink hair. And coach Chun Hong Yu, personal coach for Dima. It is the Dima camp. Part of it anyway, of course. Fans all around the world. Let's two four. Those long serves into the backhand have paid off quite a lot. A good percentage for Dima. Takes him within one point of T-Mobile. Oh, man, what a finish. T-Mobile turning, and he goes the wrong way. This is some anticipation and reaction time from Dmitry Ovtrov right back down the line. This is one of those exchanges that you love to see. This is what you see from Fan Zhendong and Ma Long. It's coming from Germany's top two as well, but Dima takes the point. Let's for all. A little bit off the top of the net. Bulls point to step back into the lead. Two-point lead. Remember, Timo was leading earlier in this match for most of the game and ended up losing the game. Let's four six. This is a serve that I'm a big fan of for a righty versus a lefty. Either player serving it deep into the backhand side. Five six. This one comes off the table just a little bit too much, enough for Dima to get a confident opening attack. Much unlike the shots that Simon Gozi had to deal with from Dima's backhand serve. Much better answer, short receive keeps it inside the table. Dima's been ready for that first full swing and in the short game, if he gets there late, the ball's most likely going to get popped up. Timo very confident with that backhand. It's interesting how they both have such different backhands, but have such strong backhands. I think in the modern game, the backhand is much more important than it used to be. Speed and power, more than touch play. Not to mention the ball spins less than it used to. A little bit heavier, a little bit bigger. Let's seven five. Oh. Oh. Eight, five. The backhands from deep and Timo Bowl extends his lead to three. Once again, he turns the corner early, and Dima plays it down the line. This pattern a little bit deeper in the rally. 
As strong as Timo is, off the table with the backhand, still looking to turn the corner. Wow, sneaks that one past. Talk about how important it is for a tall player to be good over the table in the short game with the forehand flip. This one has to be right there or Timo blocks it back out of reach. Two in a row for Dima. A one more shot, he does it again. This time Timo's a little bit closer, he gets a hand on the ball. Ball almost comes back on the table. If that comes down, it's going to be trouble for Dima. Point. Respect for both of these players. It looked like we might have seen a hand switch. That's how far out of position Timo was. From under the table, floats two back up on. The counters comes rushing in. Nail-biting point, and you can't help but uh, applaud for that. H10. Two game points for Timo Bowl. Calm down, stay cool, go for the backhand opening attack, coaching from the crowd. Personal coach within eyesight. I think Timo, seven years, the senior. Coachless, not even in the crowd at this point. Long serve into the backhand has been such such a delicious recipe for Dima. Time and time again, it's paid off. And two quick shots off the bounce. Timo saves it. After one game point saved by Dima, Bull turns around and converts the game. It's tied up at two games apiece. Still anybody's match. Game five to see who gets the advantage and takes the lead. Game five coming up right after this. Right there was Jorg Roskoff watching a man who's thoroughly enjoying himself. Just sitting back and enjoying the entertainment. Not needing a group for either player nor coach. Love one. So coming into this game, Dima had outscored Timo Bowl 41 points to 38. But Timo takes the first point, game number five. Very persistent play. Dima having to attack many times to the backhand. You're wondering when Timo's going to wait and change it up. What's the pattern going to be? When's the ball going to go the other way? 
When can you get Dima to step around wide enough? One, two. Beautiful shot as deep as they come to the backhand side. Just watching this, thinking about how impressive Timo's shots are. And then Dima finally finds a place that's out of reach, out of the comfort zone. Forces Timo Bowl into submission, a defensive shot. Wow, excellent save from down low, but it sits up high, and Timo has a chance to run around. No Fan Zhendong here. Not a bad shot, but definitely not enough to win the point nor point of the year at the ITTF Star Awards. Timo trying to grab the reins here early. Get in control. First towel break and Dima leading four points to two. I think a lot of people don't appreciate how much responsibility the umpire and assistant umpires have. Stopwatch, making sure everything's happening just right. Backhand opening is too strong. We saw it in game two from Dmitry Ovtrov. Saw it in game two against Simon Gozi as well when he got that first opening attack with the backhand. It left the opponent struggling and virtually defenseless. Better response this time. Timo in position. Spins the ball back. Not just a defensive receive. Oh, back edge of the table, a break for Timo. I'm trying to remember, there have been so many matches, especially with these two involved, but I think Dima had some of the luck earlier on in this match. This one escapes. Middle of the table to the middle of the table. Timo with a decent chance here, but again, heavy spin coming in from Dima. Flip kill for the win. Sure if he caught the edge of the table, maybe. A little apology there from Timo. We can only surmise that that's what happened from that camera angle. Second towel break of the game in Camp Ovtrov watching carefully. A little bit of luck comes back, but Timo recovers the net ball. I'm out. And a timeout now on the side of Dmitry Ovtrov. Curious how much communication there will be with the coach. I'm actually trying to look around. Okay. I see where he's sitting in the stadium. It's the opposite side. Final answer. When table tennis becomes a reality show here. Timeout is used. No lifelines left for Dmitry Ovtrov. 
he going to go with the crowd on this one? All right, so cleaning the table. It's a one-point game here. Remember, whoever takes this game is leading three games to two, one game away from the title. Timo Boll has cleared the path. The toughest players, the two that everyone thought they would be seeing in the final if they were on opposite sides of the tournament. Opposite sides of the draw, Lin Gao Yuan and Ma Long. Dmitry Ovtrov, the smoother path. Still up by one out of the timeout. Oh, the second one, he can't play soft right out of the timeout. Dima gets the point. Touch received first, nice and short, maybe a little off the top of the net. But from the back of the table, can't contact for the top spin shot. Six, nine. So from up by one to up three now, a bit of a run here for Dima. We've seen Timo Bull come back from greater deficits. And on the run to the backhand side, just long trying to play the middle of the table. Dmitry Ovtrov now with four game points to go up three to two. It's easy to start thinking into the future, the interviews on the court. Much better response again. Timo Bowles getting more and more comfortable with that long serve into the backhand. Talk about striking it while it's hot. Dima definitely taking advantage of that pattern in that opening. Good. Good job, says Coach Chun Hong Yu. One game point saved by Timo Bull. And the receive goes out. So it's going to be the next game or game seven victory for Timo. It's going to have to be game seven if Timo's going to continue his streak and Dima can take it in game six or game seven. Game six coming up right after this. Stay right here to see what happens. Players come back for game number six. Timo Bull with his back against the ropes down two games to three. We've seen him come back again from deeper in the pockets. Dima trying to keep up the streak to stay hot. Put that backhand in early. Long serves where he can. Curious to see how the patterns will change with the Dima serves. But Timo will start off game number six. No question about that. Dima saying, sir, your flash is on. Cameraman directly in line with the table. <laughs> Flashes can be quite detrimental. I actually saw one essentially ruin a match for Janove Waldner late in his career in Sweden. Drop shots are always so difficult, even with the feeling and touch that Timo Bull has. And that's quite a low shot. Against a lob, if it's a little shallow, yeah, sometimes for a low trajectory shot like that with heavy tops, that's going to be very difficult to keep short. Timeout here for Timo Bull. Feels appropriate. He's down 0-3 in a game that he needs to win to send this to the 7th. 
What's it going to be like in Timo's corner? 36-year-old will be in his corner thinking of strategies. He's pulled off the most amazing comeback in this tournament against Ling Gao Yuan. He beat the most unbeaten player in the world, Ma Long. And now he's playing against his teammate, one world ranking above him, world rank number four, Dmitry Ovtrov. How can he keep that backhand out of play early on? How can he get Dmitry Ovtrov out of position? The serve placement there, you can see it'd be very difficult for Timo Bull to play it wide and deep to the forehand. Because Dima's waiting for it there, he's got the wingspan. Taller players have a bigger middle. Can Timo find the middle of Dmitry Ovtrov? Can he get him off balance to step around and take a forehand? Then play it out the other way. Can you back him off the table and play it softer, but not a full-on drop shot? Oh, Dima! All the way to the corner. This was crucial. Timo completely fooling him in this receive. That's the wingspan. Not a bad shot from Timo. Leaves it on the exact opposite side of the table, and Dima at full sprint punches it to the length of the table to take the point. Can't have a much better response to your opponent's timeout than the way Dima's played the last two points. Power from Timo. He's not giving up. Not yet. I think when you've played as long as Timo, you know when it's time for exhibition and you know when the crowd wants to see you fight. And in table tennis, time and time again, even in this tournament, he has fought till the very, very end. Five to one lead is encouraging for Dima, but not safe. This is a good opportunity for Timo. Deep to the backhand and then parallel down the middle of the table. Trying to go a little bit wider out to the forehand. Beautiful shots crossing the chest. Now occasionally we'll see professionals take shots like this to save them a little bit of time. The technique will go a little bit out the window for whatever's necessary in real time. From that angle didn't look quite as drastic. Use that backhand. The backhand flip, the punch, some spin. Big point here. The difference between 6-3 and 2-7, both are still attainable. But Dima's getting close, getting very close to the Men's World Cup. Oh, and a service H. air! H2. Oh, the pain for Timo Bull. <laughs> and the backhand doesn't come down either. These are the types of scores where in certain circumstances, especially with two players from the same team, if it's many match points against Timo, you might see an exhibition point. Two, ten. Eight championship points for Dmitry Ovtrov after the dream tournament that Timo has had, conquering all the bosses on the other side. Jenny Ovtrov watching. Anticipation. We've seen Timo come back before. What's going to happen? And Dimitri Ovtrov does it. 11 to 2 falls to his knees and on the ground. The World Cup. He can't believe it. What a performance. I can't remember the last time I've seen Dimitri Ovtrov fall flat to the ground. He's saying thank you, thank you so much for clearing the path for me, kissing the table. Jenny will not be jealous, love right back to her. I love the table, thank you, Donick sponsoring me and the table. And to my wife as well, the mother of my child, Emma, Dmitry Ovtrov takes down the man who nobody else could. 36-year-old teammate, world number five, Timo Bull.
But the man right now is Dmitry Ovtrov, world rank number four. And look at the scores here. A dominant, absolutely dominant game six after Timo Bol took the first one and tied it up by the narrowest of margins in the fourth. After that, Dmitry Ovtrov found some extra fuel and put the pedal to the metal. Congratulations, Dmitry Ovtrov, the 2017 Men's World Cup champion right here in Liège, Belgium. So enjoy the highlights and stick around. We've got the award ceremony coming up in just a bit. 11, 7. Monsieur, ladies and gentlemen, Dmitry Ovtcharov, winner of the World Cup. <laughs> Tima, congratulations, World Cup champion. How does it feel? Oh, it's actually unreal. I uh, could never imagine many years ago that uh, I would be able to have such a victory and... Uh, uh, it's, of course, daily work, but so much support from my family and my coaches, my team, and uh, I'm speechless. I could uh, take such a trophy uh, across so many legends to see my name on the cup. Fantastic. And you had great support from your family. I think they're just over there, right? Yes, my wife, uh, yeah, she gave me a lot of strength, and of course, my daughter home, my father, my mother, uh, yeah. Without the family, it would never be possible. Very nice. And a close game also. 2-2. Two, two. Things are going really close. Then in the last two games, obviously Timo, legend of the game, friend of yours, always so close. But the last two games made a little bit of a difference there. Well, I mean, Timo, he beat Lingao Jan, but especially he beat Ma Long. This is really incredible. I think uh, he's a few years older and he had such tough matches. I felt he was a bit tired, not that quick like against the Chinese top guys. Uh, I was a little bit fortunate the draw for me, and uh, I believe uh, with his performance here, he deserved the victory as much as me. Nice to say, Dimitri, nice to say. And finally, how will you celebrate, Dima? Fantastic victory, how will you celebrate? Well, I don't know. My, uh, my private coach, my national team coach, and uh, my wife are here, and I think we're going to head back to our home and uh, celebrate together with my parents. Sounds good. Have a great